one minute past the, the starting time, but I suggest we just maybe wait just a couple of more minutes uh, and, and then we will stop this session uh, so that we manage within the within the time planned. To see if there's anybody else who joining. If Ashmeet, could you just give me a heads up if you can hear me well, Ashmeet? Can you hear me well? Mickey or Ashmeet, can you hear me? Yes. Excellent. Okay. Yes, sorry, we can we can hear you pretty well. I'll okay. just I'll just put up the slide again. Yeah. Great, and then I think we can kick this off. If you can just yes, excellent. Okay, so let let's let's start this briefing session and really, uh, first of all, thank everybody for for joining. Um, we we called for this meeting on on the Gopa Secretariat side without so much lead time, um, but we felt it was very important to to have this session um, in particular now, right before the UN 2023 Water Conference, uh, which is such a you know landmark for, for the water sector. So thank you for joining. And uh, we'll try to keep this as, as sort of succinct and informative as, as we can. And also an opportunity to consult um, be before the before the conference. So let me first introduce myself. Um, I, I've had opportunity to engage with with a few of you already, um, but for those that I'm meeting for the first time, uh, just want to let you know that um, I'm I'm Osa Osa Johnson. I'm I'm the recently arrived head of the Guapa program uh, in Bonn. I joined in the middle of December and uh, three months almost up now. So it's certainly time to, to reach out and, and, and meet with, with many of our members and partners. Uh, my background is I've been a UN staff since 2000. I've been with UN Habitat since 2005, uh, holding a number of different portfolios, um, including in the land sector, on training and capacity building, and um, really excited to be uh, having this opportunity to 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 now uh, lead the work of the Guapa Secretariat um, together with with its membership. My most recent um, posting before joining uh, Guapa was in Albania with the UN Resident Coordinators Office. I don't know if we have online already our um, uh, colleague from Tirana, uh, but of course, very much looking forward to to meeting with her as well, uh, having just recently uh, been based in Albania. But with, with without uh, much lengthier on that, uh, of course, looking forward to meeting with several of you face to face in uh, in New York, firstly, and then we were having our Guapa Congress in May, which I believe will also be an opportunity for many of us um, to meet. Um, I also want to start by recognizing and, and welcoming some of our new members. Um, we are at the moment having a um, quite intense membership drive. We're getting a lot of new members signing up. Uh, we will not have time in, in this session to, to really go through like a tour de tableau of, of everybody here, but we will make sure to, to do that when we all meet up as partners um, in so maybe we just go directly into the into the agenda. Uh, I just want to also mention, um, you know, key partners that we have also in this call. Firstly, uh, from the secretariat side. Firstly, my my colleague Julie. Uh, you will all know Julie, and she's been, um, you know, holding the fort for Guapa for several years. And I just want to really acknowledge in this team uh, her excellent work. Um, her excellent support in in onboarding me. So, um, Julie, thank you for for being the solid foundation of all of this uh, from Gopa's side. And we will also be giving you um, the floor to present um, a number of things uh, as you are the focal point in our team for for the UN Water Conference within the Gopa Secretariat. So, thanks, Julie. I also want to thank uh, Anne Lestrade, who is our senior consultant. 
Anne has been really working tirelessly, I would say, um, to, to set up a, a well-networked, well-coordinated, uh, broader GWOPA um, representation and uh, opportunities in New York. So thank you very much, Anne, and also for all your inputs for this session today. And I'm sure we will hear from you at some point in this hour as well. And of course, to, to others in our team as well. Um, but in interest of time, um, just a thank you to everyone. So um, what we're going to do in, in this briefing is look at the preparations for the UN Water Conference, in particular, um, two parts. Uh, one of them is the, the kind of common messages that we we have prepared some to, to help serve the Secretariat, um, but then to look at if there's ways that we can strengthen that collectively so that we have a strong collective voice. Then to spend some time on, on the opportunity of putting commitments. Um, this will come in later slides. And then we will discuss a little bit about the events that are taking place there. And lastly, since we're gathering here together, um, a few other updates on upcoming milestones for, for the GWOPA partnership. So now I think we probably have a little bit of a mixed, um, let's say, degree of engagement in New York. For some of you, this is probably what you're spending most of your days working on right now. So this might be a little bit repetitive. For others, um, maybe you're just coming in uh, a little bit new to this. So we're just wanting to firstly just flag what this UN Water Conference is about. Um, so it, it's uh, very much a call to, to get the SDG 6, uh, you know, along with all the other SDGs, really back on track. And it's um, very exciting that there's so much global uh, attention being given at this highest, highest level within, within the UN um, for, for a UN Water Conference. And um, we also have here on the screen that it must result in a bold water action agenda. Um, like all big conferences, if if the boldness of the agenda that comes out through the commitments, if it's not so strong, you know, that is definitely a lost opportunity. And so the purpose of us getting together here is to see what can we really do as a partnership, let's say, in the last mile, which is really the last week um, before we um, the, the meeting starts uh, on, on the 22nd of March in New York. So really an effort of going together, uh, contributing to the event as WOPA, as members of WOPA and as the Global um, WOP Alliance. Maybe you can go to the next slide, Ashmi. Thank you. So just as a sort of quick uh, refresher, probably to all of us, um, it's the first UN conference since 1977 that is focusing on water. So needless to say, this is a very historic um, moment. It's co-hosted by the government of Tajikistan and Netherlands. And, um, you know, it has, of course, opening and closing ceremonies, plenary meetings, dialogues, etc. cetera. Um, maybe you can just go to the next slide, Ashmi. Uh, if we have it there, yes, we're not going to spend the time here on, on the details of the layout of the three days. Uh, Julie will, will give um, some overview of the GWOPA events that we, we are involved from the Secretariat side and also like to uh, make sure that we collate different activities that are being done through this wider partnership. So we will get to that in, in a few minutes. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with the program or want to familiarize yourself more, we've put the link here and we will also make sure to circulate um, this PowerPoint um, immediately to all of you so that you can also um, track, track this easily from your side. Uh, next slide, Dashmi. So what, what we uh, suggest is that we will just go through the, the whole slide deck with you and then we will um, come back to a number of points, which is um, really the purpose of this meeting in terms of discussion. Um, the first one, as I just mentioned, is the key messages at the UN Water Conference. And if you could go to the next slide, um, Ashmi. So we, we have circulated to you um, and this is much thanks to, to the preparatory work of, of Anne Lestrade. Um, the key messages um, that uh, you know, we, we see as really coming out as the top level elevator pitch um, messages. 
Um, the first one being on water and sanitation utilities being key players. Uh, how do we make sure to lift that up in, in everything we discuss and engage with um, at, at the water conference? That water operator partnerships accelerate solutions and that water operator partnerships must be scaled up. Um, it's the time to grow this movement even larger, backed up by global multi-stakeholder alliances. So we'll we'll go back to this slide in in a bit uh, and and open up for some further feedback on 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 the commitments. Not to say at all. I mean, this is just a, a guideline that we were sort of using ourselves as well, including also with with uh, our host UN Habitat, with the executive director of Habitat. To make sure that these messages are, are streamlined as much as possible and highlighted and echoed. Please feel free to, to use that document that we circulated to you if you find it useful. Add your own angles, of course, and, and I'm sure you already have, um, into the messages. And it will be very uh, interesting to hear from you a little bit if you feel that there's some additional key points, bullets that we should have in this um, short uh, background note so that we all make sure to echo um, what is significant for us collectively as, as a movement. So you can go to the next slide, Ashmit, and then we'll come back to this later. Next. I think next. So again, some of you will be familiar with this. Uh, for some of you, it, 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 it may not um, be. We, this is just to show uh, the slide of the water action agenda um, on the New York, uh, on, on the water conference, UN water conference, sorry, um, website. And this is where we will be registering a, a commitment. And um, we will go through, maybe Ashmit, you can go to the next slide. So the, these are voluntary commitments. Um, they can be submitted ahead of the conference, which we're aspiring to do with, with the joint one from the Guopa Alliance. We hope to submit it already by tomorrow evening. A um, little bit uh, hard to follow some of the deadlines we're getting hearing, but we understand that it's good to get this in before the 15th of March. From our own side, we, we find it important to get it in earlier which makes it possible for us to refer to it and, and to really raise, um, raise this in, in all the events that we go into at, at uh, the conference. But you can one can also be submitting commitments during the conference itself. It's supposed to be transformative. We're really talking about game changing and, and, and really highlighting, in our case now, the, the really what the investment in water operator partnerships can really do as a transformative um, way to accelerate achieving um, SDG 6. And it, it's collective, ideally with multiple partners, and um, it can refer to ongoing work, but then of course with additional commitment will make it more powerful in terms of what we are aspiring to do. And that also relates to the scale of the commitment that we do. Uh, you can go to the next slide, Ashmi. So this, I will also go back into when we when we open up for discussion. We had circulated the the Guopa action already uh, to you, and some of you have already provided some comments, which we're highly appreciative of. So I'm just flagging this as a as a reminder of that document that has been shared, and you can go to the next slide, Ashmi. And importantly, and and would be very helpful to hear from all of you here on on what are some on the tangible deliverables that we will be highlighting in this commitment. So um, we, we aim that that the water operators partnership will reach at least 100 utilities in the global south. Um, this we feel is like a realistic aspiration based on how we're seeing um, this area of work growing and, and the interest that, that is shown in this. Um, secondly, that member states commit to integrate WAPs into their WASH strategies and that we have a commitment on an enabling environment to deliver on water and sanitation services. Uh, third, an open source infrastructure, enabling partners to learn from each other. So this is a commitment of the matchmaking, of the learning um, component of the WAP. 
and that we also have a tangible deliverable when it relates to um, water and sanitation investments, which we also welcome suggestions on the language for this in, in any ways to strengthen it. If you can go to the next slide, Dashmi. So now the, the conversation we're having here with you today is really uh, of dual nature. Uh, one is on, on the joint commitment that, that I've just highlighted to you and that we will go back to and that, you know, we in the Secretariat will make sure is uploaded um, by tomorrow, but also to echo it through, through other work commitments. So we encourage all of you in, in your different capacities to, to also feel um, inspired and to, to, to share additional commitments if you haven't done so. What we are aware for uh, so far is three WAP commitments. There may be more. Please do share. One of them uh, on universal access to safe and climate resilient water services in Rwanda. I understand this has already been uploaded on, on the site that I just showed. The second one is from Ghana. And then a third one on portable um, water and rural sanitation uh, from Chile, from our partners in Chile. So just wanted to flag this here as, as good inspiration um, of, of having submitted commitments already to date. If you go next. Uh, now I'll, I'll give the floor to you, Julie, uh, just to brief a little bit on the, on the actual events going on uh, being planned. Over to you, Julie. Uh, can everyone hear me okay? I'll speak up. Okay, so um, it, in addition to the main program, um, you know, the formal program, the opening, the closing, the plenaries, the interactive dialogues, where member states, uh, states will be speaking, uh, UN agencies and, uh, and other kinds of partners will be speaking in addition to other stakeholders, um, this is it's a side events really where the where a lot of the action where where stakeholders like ourselves like yourselves are able to to have a word get a get, get a word in have some space um, given. So the uh, we applied uh, with partners for quite a number of side events, and the uh, the main one that we achieved. So we we did achieve the one um, focused on on water operators. Um, that's happening on Friday, 24th, the March. And this is um, called Forget About SDGs Without Strong Water Management Organizations. It's really looking at the commitments um, uh, that are related to WAPs uh, and strengthening utilities in, in a number of ways. And so we're doing this with quite a number of partners, maybe in the call uh, you know, with the government of Germany, the Netherlands, um, and, and quite a number of um, GWAPA partners in this event. And it's quite an action-packed event in the sense that we're aiming to launch quite a lot of actions or launch or celebrate actions, water action agenda commitments that are being made for GWAPA, so the one that OSA has just gone through, but also commitments that are related, associated, that reinforce that main overall commitment. So this is where our key kind of uh, WAPA-focused event is happening. In addition, um, there are a number of uh, off-site side events that we're really happy to be involved and associated with, um, including a film that the uh, DG INPA, the European Commission, has, has uh, done with our support um, and that is happening at the German House on the 21st. And this is featuring a lot of young water and sanitation professionals um, that are participating in WAPs. Um, we're also launching an app uh, together with Arcadis, which, uh, which is actually downloadable by all uh, participants to the Congress, um, where they can, uh, that they can, it, it, it takes you on an itinerary around New York, looking at water infrastructure and water, water development. Um, and the event around that is happening also on Friday morning. And then we're involved in the organization of a special event that we've been working closely, particularly with our partners at Waterworks and the Blue Deal, um, to organize on the Thursday. So these are our, our main events. Ashmeet, if you could go to the next one, please. And then there are quite a number of other associated events that I will not run through now, but that involve uh, a speaking role for GWAPA as the Secretariat or our partners. We're trying as much as we can 
to put operators on the stage as to you know raise the voice of operators themselves in these different events. Um, and uh, we're grateful to Anne Lestrat for having um, having helped us very much in this um, in this as well. Um, so there are quite a number of events happening here, but these are uh, and all of these will be available for you to check out on our website. But we're asking you also to let us know what you're doing. Ashmi, you can go to the next one. Thanks. Um, to, to think about how we can do this as much have a, as much of a, a, a collective presence in New York as possible. Um, and so we would like to hear about the events that you're organizing uh, you're, or you're speaking in, you're involved in in some way or another. Um, know who from your organizations might be present um, so we can potentially invite them to events where we have the opportunity to do so. Um, are you launching any actions at the uh, at the event or before uh, to the water action agenda and that you can share with us that we can give visibility to on our website and do you have opportunities yourselves to amplify these messages that we're putting together or add uh, you know to the to the actions that we are putting forth as an alliance so if you have uh, things to share you can share it in the chat but I think um, more, uh, it would help our organization quite a lot if you could share it by email also to to um, the address that is given on the screen uh, as soon as possible, and then we'll do what we can to make the most of that. Um, so back to you, Osa. Thanks very much, uh, Julian. Again, we will come back to that. We're just kind of just flashing through our uh, what the, the information that we want to share here and then then we will open up for discussion. So just to just to the last component of of, of this briefing is to to uh, go also ahead beyond the New York conference that is sort of on our minds at present. And firstly, of course, our Guapa Congress. So Ashmit, if you can just go to the next slide. So just to make sure uh, that this is in everyone's calendars, if it's not already, uh, 22nd to 25th May uh, in, in Bonn, and uh, really uh, such a great opportunity to, to again uh, meet uh, more face-to-face -face for those of you who have an opportunity to come to Bonn. Uh, we, the topic is on resilience in challenging times, mobilizing collaboration for future ready water and sanitation service providers. We have a rich program. There's been a lot of side event uh, submissions. We're not going to go through in this briefing uh, all the details of, of, of the Congress, um, but we will find other mechanisms to, to you know, continue to keep you abreast on, on the plans for this Congress. Um, if you could go to the next slide, um, just to uh, zoom in on, on the objectives of the Congress. Uh, this is a global opportunity to, to really hear from so many different water operators and organizations supporting them on the big issues facing operators, showcasing new knowledge and emerging solutions, uh, celebrating and fostering partnerships, <clears throat> learning more about water operator partnerships, and overall strengthening the global uh, WAP community. So please keep the dates, um, please engage. Uh, we're looking forward uh, also to, to still have good ideas on speakers. We're shaping up the plenaries and we're going to have some field uh, visits here in Bonn as well, um, which we believe would be very uh, useful for those of you who are making the way um, to, to Germany, who are not based in Germany. So, so that's the first, just a good reminder on the Congress. Then uh, moving, moving beyond that, um, as, as an information for, for members who are on this call, um, we, we will also be circulating uh, an, a message out on this, but the decision has been made to, to uh, postpone the, the General Assembly, which was initially to be taken place in Bonn, and it's going to be held in conjunction with the 12th uh, World Urban Forum in the first quarter of 2024 in Cairo. Uh, the host uh, city Cairo is still confirming the dates for the World Urban Forum. So as soon as we have that, we will also set the date for the um, for the General Assembly. Uh, it will be hybrid, but of course we really want to make sure to 
have a good uh, engagement and opportunity to engage with the Arab region um, through the, the um, hospitality of the city of Cairo of hosting both. And so this is just to, to flag for, for all of you. And um, at the Congress itself, we will still be taking opportunity to meet with members, um, taking the opportunity of all of us, you know, who, of those who are in Bonn uh, meeting as well. The second uh, important part in the timeline, and now I can't see the slide, uh, there we go, is the extension of the Guapa Steering Committee membership until 2024. Uh, the Steering Committee seats, the election will now be held in conjunction with the General Assembly um, at, at the World Urban Forum. So it means that the current steering committee members uh, will continue um, and, and we appreciate that and hope that you will be ready to continue your role. And we're also hoping to, to send very shortly uh, information about a meeting that will take place um, in Bonn in May. Uh, and the election will be for more than, well, close to half of the steering committee seats in 2024. Uh, very importantly, we are also now in an active membership drive, the first bullet here on, on the slide. So please um, really a call out also to our members to reach out through your networks in your countries. And, and we're really looking forward to uh, increasing the overall membership of WAPA. So um, that's, that's just a few pieces of other information that we thought would be you know, timely um, to share here together in this briefing. So, so that's what we wanted to sort of share with you. And now we want to really spend the, the, the second part of this meeting to, to hear from, from those of you who have joined us, from, from our members and partners. And um, I suggest that we start with um, your reflections on the messages, uh, if you have any. Otherwise, we will move quickly into the, into the commitment or the action. Um, but why don't you just pull up the messages slide, Ashmi, and um, please um, feel free to, to raise your hand, share. And as you speak, you may also just want to briefly introduce yourself uh, for those of us who may be new in this um, collective um, group. And, and please feel free to also highlight any of the events that you're doing in New York briefly, whilst we will also rely on you emailing them. So let us know uh, if, if you have any thoughts on the messages, anything else that would be useful for you, uh, if there's anything we can do from the Secretariat side, or if you also have more substantive comments on anything you feel should be highlighted at, uh, you know, by all of us when we are at the conference. Or feel free to react to, to, to something else if that's too specific. Not seeing anyone at the moment. Um, we've, we've circulated the, the messages. We, we hope they're useful. And uh, this there's no sort of deadline in the sense that we will be using them when we are at the conference. So please do share with us if there's any um, you know, main points that we may have overlooked or that you feel should be amplified uh, through, through all the access we have, let's say, to, to different speakers. But I see David's hand up. So nice to see you, David, and over to you. Yes, thank you, Osa, and uh, sorry for being late. Uh, I've looked at the messages, and importantly, I've seen that also UCLG and C40 are having a pretty big presence at this conference. And that, uh, at least for UCLG, which uh, as people know is the Global Association of Mayors. And uh, yeah, for those who don't know me, I work with the Global Trade Union Federation Public Services International, and I've been doing water for longer than I care to admit. Um, but for me, that that's a, a key connection that I'm sure Habitat has been trying to make, but I, I also think that um, UCLG is finally giving water a higher profile. Uh, it's not had a great profile in them, uh, in there for, uh, for multiple years, possibly because they have many other issues on, the, on their books. Um, and 
also just to be aware that um, the the subnational entities, whether it's governments or utilities, don't necessarily have the easiest time accessing the UN machinery. And I know Habitat is the exception for the planet. You guys are the the urban and the peri-urban champions. But in terms of um, in terms of having policies made that then impact that they have to deliver on, including things like unfunded mandates. And uh, uh, I think we need to be really sensitive to that because the, for example, the the tax making and collecting and distribution policies are typically not in the hands of uh, subnational governments. And so the whole financing discussion, I suspect you'll see a lot of the, the subnationals will have a fair amount of frustration with the unreliable, unpredictable uh, amount of, of funding available with the requirements of, uh, you know, having the credit rating agencies come in and rate them. Uh, that th Those are specific issues that are not really WAPS issues, even though it's clear that a utility has to do everything it can to, uh, to train up its staff such that they can access financial markets on their terms rather than on somebody else's terms. Um, so I think that's that's a really uh, useful thing. And I, I know the <clears throat> the director of UCLG, Emilia Says, is is chairing a, a meeting. And I think GWAPA is one of the co-organizers, and and we need to <clears throat> I think make that a um, help make them uh, more and more integrated into what we're doing. So the mayors basically are the bosses of the utility managers who are the members of, of GWAPA. But I don't think, and Julie, you can probably correct me, do we have any mayors in GWAPA? Are, are there any uh, actual elected e chief executives of, of subnationals who, who are on? Um, and and there should be. So for me, that's, that's uh, a, a really useful connection to help make uh, in New York. Thanks. Great. Yeah. That was uh, that was also just an icebreaker I said to get people talking because I know the first one is people are so shy, but OK. No, that's great. Thank you. And I really both appreciate the icebreaker, but also your point. And I think um, this is a very important point. We 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 should look at a little bit more closely Julian team, our opportunities with, with UCLG uh, in the events, but also on the sidelines of the events. I think this is a great opportunity, David, as you've said, that water is kind of coming into their radar screen. And um, yeah, let, let's let's strategize a bit on that. And if you have good ideas on, on anything we should be doing, whilst, you know, as, as WAPA when we are uh, there beyond what we're already doing in terms of relationship building with UCLG, that's that's very welcome. I don't know, I, I want to give the hand to others, but Julie, did you want to come in on anything here as well? Any clarification on events or anything? Just to say the, those are great points, David, thanks a lot. And and of course, our membership uh, for the steering committee, for example, is institutional level. We have individual membership as well. I don't think we have any mayors on the individual level, but we do have uh, you know uh, municipalities, of course, as members of GWAPA, and this would be, you know, something we would really ask your support in is trying to build that membership and have the representation there come from from the mayor. That would be really, I think, something crucial um, to do. And so we'll work we'll work uh, towards that uh, in New York and going forward uh, as we build our membership too. Good. And let me let me give the floor now to to Evis Jebrea. Over to you. Yes. Hello, this is Evis. I am the Deputy General Director at the Tirana Water and Wastewater Utility, which is in the capital of Albania. Thank you for, uh, for this call. And I will be uh, personally present at the UN Water Conference to be held ne next week in New York. So I'll be very happy to meet most of you, hopefully. I hope that many of you will participate. Just a short comment, uh, besides what was uh, sent, uh, maybe uh, uh, it will be very good from our side to highlight that we are part of the 
It's called Equal, uh, Equal Aqua. It's an inclusive water institutions platform, which was developed by the World Bank. And Ukata, our water utility, it is part. This uh, platform is uh, regarding the gender balance. So uh, maybe I can share with you here. I don't know whether I'm allowed to share the link of this uh, platform. Of course, go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so uh, in the chat box, I'll send the link so that every one of you can have a look. And uh, okay, sorry. Yes, so. Okay, I just uh, sent on the chat box. So here, this is a, a platform which was developed, I guess, uh, three years ago. And there are many water utilities all around the world. Uh, so it would be a good opportunity to also speak about some of the progress that many utilities have done regarding the gender balance. That's my comment. So I think apart from, thank you very much. And apart from, um, you know, looking at the platform, maybe I, if, I, if I hear you right, and maybe Julie and Anne, let, let's look at whether we have a strong enough message on gender and, and the progress, celebrating the progress on gender in WAPS and, and maybe what more needs to be done in, in the overall messages. And, and uh, maybe just to say, uh, Evis, that I'm actually in Tirana right now. Uh, so uh, I, I look forward to next time I'm in, in Tirana, I will also look you up. We will meet in New York, but then hopefully also sometime here in Albania. Yes, so please. Ple pleasure to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you. Great. Let's let's go then to, to Anne and let's start over to you. So oh, thank you, Osa. Now, ju just a short comment on what uh, David said. Uh, I fully agree that it's very important to have a strong connection with uh, C40 and 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 especially and I think a bubble UCLG. That's why I try to I try to connect them and to collaborate with them for our side events. So far, it was quite successful with uh, C40 because uh, we have a common side event, and I think we. I think it's the first step to have, I think, closer collaboration with them. Uh, from UCLG side, uh, they say, they reply to me, oh, of course, it's uh, obviously it's, it would be very great if we can have uh, operators uh, from the GBOPA and, uh, and the elected official uh, managing some uh, water company like, you know, Eau de Paris and all that. But, after this positive uh, reply, I didn't receive any more details on the side event. So uh, please, David, if you have any other connection, uh, you know, or if you can push them to include operators. So I think at the end we 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 could do it, but it's better if we if we can know uh, right now. So. If anyone can, uh, yes, can help to have uh, this uh, more direct connection with UCLG. I know that, uh, you know, Auto Paris is a member of GWOPA. I just discussed yesterday with the CEO of Auto Paris, Benjamin Gestin, and Dan Lert. Dan Lert is a deputy mayor and the chair of Auto Paris, uh, as me, uh, you know, in, the, in my time. And so, they, they will be there and they will be participate in, a, in some side event, but it, it, it would be great if we can have more, of course, more uh, uh, elected official and more uh, local operators in the UCLG side events. And just the second comment is um, uh, about water action agenda. As uh, Osa explained, planned uh, very well. It's very important to have, uh, you know, it, it's not very complicated, uh, but to have some commitments registered by operators or by partner of Jivupa showing uh, with concrete experiences, project, initiative, and anything else, uh, explaining, demonstrating how WAPS can be a relevant mechanism for achieving SDGs. So I really encourage everyone 
uh, to, to register a commitment in the Water Action Agenda. Great, thanks, Anne. And, and maybe then, in, in the interest of time, we, you know, let's switch, Ashmit, the, the slides to the, to the water action, um, the one, firstly, that we were hoping to commit jointly by the Alliance, if you can just go down. And I, I think um, on, the, on the UCLG, I will also see from our side uh, in the Secretariat and, and through UN Habitat how we can strengthen a little bit some of the um, conversations that are going to be held in, in New York uh, with, with uh, you know, the representatives that are there from US, UCLG. Um, so now I see an other hand. I'm trying to see who, whose hand is up. Is it, I see Anne's hand still up, Evie's hand. Did one of you want to take the floor again? No. Okay. Um, so, Ashmit, could you go to the next slide, just where we have the... Let's go to the... Yeah, further down. Go down. Yeah. Yes. I think this is a good place to 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 zoom in. Um, what what are what are some of the reactions, colleagues? Do you think it's is it ambitious enough? Is it aspirational enough? Um, uh, you know, we're looking at what we're committing to do until twenty thirty. Um, do you have any ideas here that you would like to come in on? And and again to echo also what Anne just said. One is not excluding the other. You know, this is one part, which is a which is a WOPA alliance commitment. But we're equally encouraging um, initiatives that are submitted uh, directly and separately, like the three examples that we just showed. So, um, floor is open. If anyone has any questions or or want to come in here, or if we need an icebreaker. Who will do the icebreaker? Are any of you uh, planning, aside from the three that, that we showed, are any of you planning to submit a commitment separately? Maybe we can start there. Or have you thought about it or any reactions on this? No? Oh, so, um, yes. Oh, there's a there's a hand. Oh, no, go Chris. for the hand first. Yeah, yeah, go for it. So Chris and then Anke. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. This is Chris Rich at the U.S. Water Partnership in Washington. You know, many of our members will not be in New York. Mm -hmm. In fact, very, very few of our utility partners across the United States or <clears throat> overseas uh, will be attending the conference. So I think, I mean, I, I appreciate very much the the guidelines and the the commitments. And I think it's really, you know, up to us in a lot of ways to represent and to speak for our colleagues, you know, who won't be there in New York. Mm -hmm. So that's just a general comment that I had. And, uh, you know, we're a, we're a new institutional member of Europa. Very happy to be with you. Mm -hmm. um, I greatly appreciate the introduction, if I just may say, uh, to some of our colleagues in Ukraine. And we're very interested in New York and meeting with uh, other members who are working with utilities in Ukraine. Uh, but I, I I applaud this. I, I haven't, we haven't ourselves uh, made a commitment to this, but we should think about it. And uh, thank you for this. Great. And and no thank thank you Chris and and welcome to to the membership and looking forward to having a chance to meet meet, meet with you as well. Um, so so I mean partly this is the beauty of the of the global commitment that this we will be submitting as an alliance. So um, really just making sure that we we feel that we have people on board. It, it's nothing in terms of tying us up financially or anything like that. It's really more of a of, of a joint collective uh, aspiration, let's say, of what we're hoping to do together 
um, up to 2030. Um, so, so, so this one we we will be supporting and doing the work to to get it in. Um, let's hear from from Anke. Over to you. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Anke Verheij, the coordinator of the Waterworks program. Um, so on behalf of Waterworks and Waterworks uh, partners and also the Dutch government, we are uh, we've submitted. Uh, two commitments. They're not yet online because that's, uh, we understood that takes some time. Uh, but uh, one commitment on uh, um, a new fund or initiative that we are launching during the UN conference, which is the Urban Water Catalyst Initiative. Mm -hmm. And another commitment is on um, climate adaptation. That as a program, we are planning to scale up our uh, climate adaptation commitments. And this is also an extra commitment that we will be doing during the conference. Yeah, great. Great, thank you. That's excellent to, for, for the sharing purposes and, and give maybe those who are still thinking about it also some ideas on, on the kind of commitments that are coming in. And um, if, if any of you are still thinking of, of submitting something as well. So thanks, thanks, thank you for that update. Um, let's see. I thought I saw another hand, but now it's down. Um, OK, um, is there anyone else who, who has any sort of thoughts or we, we also welcome here? I mean, there's there's Anke is one of them. There's. You know, partners, members here who, who by now are quite familiar with the whole idea of the commitments and what it means and what it applies and, and, and sort of the format for it. So if you have any questions about this as well, this, this is a good moment to, to pick people's uh, brains. Or you, we can also do so, you know, separately and bilaterally by email, just as a shared uh, resource. David, back, back to you. Thanks. Uh, and so I'm not a, an icebreaker here, but um, I'm working with uh, a number of NGOs and trade unions on uh, on the conference. As concerns the commitments, the feeling was that they're designed for governments more than uh, more than uh, outside actors who are who are non-governmental. Um, and but there's there will be a number of activities from um, civil society. I, I just want to parentheses that it's been very difficult registering for this conference, and some of our people, uh, and too many, were unable to get uh, visas because the assistance that is normally provided for uh, for UN conferences to get uh, people into the USA. Uh, wasn't available, and so uh, some some countries have delays of three, four, five months to get uh, to get access to a, a consular office. But the uh, the the point is that an, a number of the um, of the NGOs will be talking, will be continuing to critique the policies that impose blended finance and encourage private equity to get involved and. And that is likely to be, uh, some of them are likely to be fairly strong messages. Uh, whether they're inside or out, uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, as this is a moving feast. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe, um, I don't know if I can give the floor to Anne Lestrat, just in terms of the, the parameters of the commitments. As I understood, for sure, it's an instrument to get member state commitment, in particular, as there's no resolutions as such coming out of the conference. But I did understand it. I mean, that this is a multi-stakeholder opportunity for, for different types of organizations to put in the commitment and that it's not really only looking at governments, you know, to put their pledge. And if you could come in here. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I confirm that uh, it, it's absolutely multi-stakeholder. Uh, commitments and I, I I I didn't read all the commitments, but I I read quite a lot. And uh, it uh, yes, you can have commitments coming from a, a state, from a, a civil society, from a, a, a NGO, from a, an operator. From it's absolutely multi-stakeholder, and uh, 
except that the size of the, you know, the size of the, you know, and the format uh, of the description of your, of your project initiative and message, uh, it's absolutely free uh, to, yes, to defend, to, to show, to demonstrate, to encourage, to, to anything. So that's why I really encourage absolutely everyone uh, committed in a in water issue and in attending or not uh, the UN Water Conference to register because I think uh, maybe because I, I discuss with <coughs> excuse me I discuss with some uh, uh, some people uh, in uh, at UN in UN Water and. Uh, as you know, it's it's a very important uh, tool for the UN Water Conference, this Water Action Agenda. So that's why, really, uh, I think we need to focus also on that. Thanks, thanks, Anne and and Julie. I see your hand up. You want to clarify further? Yeah, just a just a quick one on that one. Initially, when we were drafting these uh, uh, actions. You might have recalled that there was we thought that there was an opportunity to kind of crowdsource and to, to 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 show your your support for each commitment that was going up in the end that option does not is not available um, but we have tried to draft our commitment such that it's wide enough to embrace the alliance commitments as a whole so it's an ambitious wider collective ambition this is not the work of the secretariat that we're putting forth, we're trying to move the whole wider WAP movement forward with this action. But the way that this comes across uh, through your commitments, this can also be reinforced by your own commitments or by connecting with the commitments, for example, the ones that we're launching at our side event on the 24th or that we're talking about there, or by individual uh, WAP actors communicating about their, their, uh, their commitments to WAPs. So we're just trying to raise the raise the the amplify this kind of message through the means that are available to us. Thanks, Julie. And we we did also circulate with with much thanks to Anne uh, Lestrat, a bit of a background short background note on on why commitments matter and a bit of a pitch, um, you know why why we should be taking this uh, quite seriously. Uh, so please do have a look at that if you feel if this is sort of resonating with you, um, because it can seem a little bit abstract and distant. You know, there's the UN conference in New York and then, you know, where would this commitment that you click through really be taking us? But it's quite clear that this is really, I mean, we've been really also informed by our all overall management to really take this part of the preparations for New York at, at the most serious sort of dedicated focus, because it's, this is really where the concrete outcomes are coming. And if the more we we have the, the narrative around the potentials of water operators in achieving the SDGs in, in the role, as we're hearing from, from David, you know, the significant role they have and all that, the more that comes out, it can only be better for, for this, for, for our work. So, so that's just sort of one more pitch on that. And if you if you want to have a quick look at that document, or or reach out if if you have any sort of more practical questions around this. So I think with that we will we will leave this. We we will be concluding the commitment that we sort of as as the secretariat will be submitting. We've shared it with you. Um, we will need to to upload it by the close of business tomorrow. Uh, so if if you have any ideas or ways to strengthen that document, please feel free to have a quick look and send us something, uh, whilst you may also be considering to to submit something on your own. So so we will we we will just wait to hear if we hear anything back from you on, on that, if that works well for for Anne and Julie and me. I think it's the three of us really making sure that 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 this one will be submitted before before the conference itself. So, so we have about five minutes left, and I think you can take away this slide now, Ashmi. And and maybe we can just hear you. You could go to the events that that Julie showed. If you go to the slide, the first slide with really the main yes, like our main events. Um, understanding that several of you here will not be in New York, so not to sort of 
spend too much time on this, but if there's any questions, anyone who will be there who wants to find out more, um, please reach out. And then also to, to, to request that this is um, a good time to also share in chat any, any plans that you're doing, and we'll be more than happy to also showcase that on the Guopa website in, in the next couple of days as a sort of collective effort of what we're doing. So anything like that or any other business, if, if there's anything else you want to share, any questions around, you know, the, the upcoming events that we're having as well, uh, we're, we're happy to hear from you. If there's anyone who wants to come in. Oh, so David Boyds again, yes. can we, um, can we send uh, the various events that might be of interest to GWAPA, send them straight into Julie or, or Anne? Uh, is, is there somebody sort of coordinating that? If you could put their email in the chat, that would be helpful because it is going to be a little bit chaotic, just a bit. You can, so we've, we've put uh, in the chat our colleague Mon, so please feel free to send it to her. And and Julie and I will be, you know, of course, looking through it as well. I'll put it up in the link as well. Yeah, and, and it's up on the screen now as well. And um, so this can be just to clarify, David, if I understand you, one thing is events that one of our organizations attending here, this briefing that you're actually part of. But it may also be events that that are of interest, uh, maybe that is not necessarily organized or co-organized by any of us, but that would be of interest to, to the Guapa Alliance. If you can just differentiate between that and we're happy to, to coordinate and, and circulate that as well, David. Thanks. Yeah. Um, I don't know, uh, Julie, you can have another minute if you want to do any more pitching for things happening uh, in, in, in New York. I think you you've you you've already shared what we're doing. Um, is there anyone who has any sort of things they want to to raise around the the Congress? Otherwise, we we still have time to, of course, share much more information on that. And that is something a little more manageable, at least from where we sit, uh, than the than the New York uh, Water Conference. No. Okay. Well, in that case, if, if there's no other questions or comments, I'll just turn also to my team. If there's anyone who wants to share anything else with, with our members and partners. Uh, Anne Lestrat, would you like to say anything more from your side? Or you're no. all ready to go? No, no, no. <laughs> no. no, no, I have a lot of uh, things to do before. Uh, no, no, it's okay. No, no, great. Uh, okay. No, just a, a question. Did you share or do you want to share the, the note uh, on the water action agenda just to maybe, uh, you know, the, the note, uh, the note explaining the process, maybe to, to share among the, the GWOPA network? Maybe to make it yes, easier. Yes, we we had we had circulated ah. it already. Ah, okay, but we great. can also pop all the documents into the link here for those of you who are attending, just to make sure okay. that it's easily accessible. So we can do that uh, also um, immediately. Put pop it up here in the in the link. Yeah. Uh, good. Okay. Well, we we completed. The, we wanted this just to be a one hour briefing. We didn't want to take too much of your time. Uh, just wanted to make sure to to share, reach out, and and hear some some you know some of the thinking from your side. So we'll recirculate the documents. We'll be working on the collective, the Guapa Alliance commitment, and we we're looking forward to any. If you want to share anything before tomorrow, please do. Otherwise, meeting some of you in New York and hopefully many of you um, in in Bonn in May. So thanks very much from my side. And and thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank thanks you. Thank you so much. Bye. See you in New Thank York. You. Bye bye. Bye. bye.